get aggressive off the back of it. Furia deciding to try and negate this man advantage and get a pick down middle. Viva's holding, the flash is good and Yuri's better, he gets a kill. Bartle coming out from Boiler, Yuri's trying to spam in this flank from Apps should come through but Unicorn setting up smokes and that gives time for Furia to kill the rest of their team. Just Unicorn left up and this is such an aggressive start for Furia like we expected. No signs of faltering just yet on this CT half. Unicorn, what can he do? Keserato is already honed in on the angle and he's got that dead to right. 6-0 and o lead for Furia. And I love that call from the Brazilians. They rotate Henny on round. He just runs to beat. Anything else I could say doesn't feel like it's going to do justice oh to just God, how Harry. good Furia are looking. And I th I, I'm loving this from them. They're coming into this as the favorites. They have a disrespect style of Counter-Strike and you're up against a team with a coach. If there ever was a time to find holes in a default, it's this game right here, right now. And Furia are exploiting it to no end. In this round, at least, Viva offering up two. Furia don't want to get too overzealous here. This one still runs the risk of falling through their fingers. This one round, I mean, not the game. Um, and should have buy and Viva. They've got long open. They could go for a B wrap into CT spawn here, but they don't know it and they've shown it towards short Henny getting the kill. How does Shudapai give him the second chance to get a, uh, get a frag there after he already misses the first? I don't know. And now a second player coming through. Henny missing the shot, but there is a teammate. Viva's found two. He might be on for the ace right now. That could save five power in and of itself. It's a one on one. Bomb plant is down. Vinny on that mid wrap. Viva has all the time in the world to get into position. He'll take mini pit. Unorthodox post plant, but not one that Vinny should expect here, and the bomb is open for him. Vinny trying to get past Viva. Viva on for the ace, as you say. Oh no. Vinny sticking that. Oh. Viva's got to line the shot yeah. up, and he will. So five power securing their first, the ace from Viva. Will that be the first of many, or is this going to be few? There's two kills from Five Power on the retake, and he's stuck. He has to go down with a fight. He has to take players with him, but only getting a single kill leaves this in a two on four. Yeah, K Serato holding over here. Oh, little flick there. Oh, another man into the oh, firing no. line. Stop feeding him. Stop feeding the beast. One point of health on K Serato, and he's going to take down everybody. The hat trick, the triple kill. And oh my word, oh my, take these, he knows that both of these players are low, Ooh. there's the kill onto Henny, and now just 10 points of health on Yuri, but he's not missing a beat, the bomb. has to go back and grab that 30 seconds, every second counts right now for Furia, and Yuri with his running shoes on, gonna try and get into that B bomb site, Viva hoping that by staying alive, he might be able to pick this round up for five power. There's going to be enough time for Yuri to get across in towards B. He'll be able to get that bomb planted and then finds himself in the 1v1 with Viva still having to embark on a very lengthy rotation indeed. There's time for Yuri to get set up towards Catwalk. That's where the bomb is planted for. That's also where Viva resides. He's on the rotation, Yuri versus Viva. And Yuri hears the footsteps, he knows, he knows that Viva's here. Yuri, four kills, and the dream. More and more we're seeing Orp is not even really trying to contend the mid portion of the map on this, uh, on this map. Art, he's gonna get dealt a hard hand and a trade is there for five power, but will that tempt Fury in swapping weapons and Vinny doesn't want to give away another kill. Henny spamming the smoke. Unicorn in the meantime has got a kill into connector as Yuri lurks solo and they're just gonna run through this smoke. Salsagi running out of ammo, but it won't stop him. He gets all three and five power will take himself around or picked up as well. Two of them on the CT side and that is a saving grace for five power. This bomb across from ramp, but will Art be able to stop it? Low HP, how's the Deagle not one-shot him? It puts him down to 10, measly damage from this shot from Unicorn. He's got to run away and he can't get around the corner, flashed off, and Keserato just doubling up, Viva not covering CT spawn, and he is now alone as a result. Oh, couple of kills, oh, he's got a third. Viva making this one work, but he can't finish off the round. Does damage to Yuri, but the M4 stands tall, and Furia will not drop another. 13-4, what a nice try from Viva. It just wasn't enough. Man, Viva has always been the man to find little... Just going to be a contact play on A. 
It's kind of ballsy considering it's coming in late. CT's ever had time to establish positions and Henny gets one. Vinny peeks out wide. He can drop a second. He's got him in the corner. Unicorn's dead. They're falling into him. And Vinny is just slaughtering on this A site. Furia will take a dominant win as we expect. Like that, trying to shift positions and, and they push somewhere. Here's the tough part. Sanji's supposed to be guarding this. And he's got an SMG. And actually, he's fortunate they went towards him. Not fortunate that R hits him right in the face. But there was a real opening for them to just wrap on that A-bomb site for free. Another kill. And now, who wants to attack the A-bomb site? I can't believe they're coming back here. Jane with the AWP trying to bait out a shot, falling back to the corner. But yeah, they, I mean, one good flashbang and this whole A-bomb site's gone. Or just another entry from Art. A third one to add to the mix. And Adren back here is every target uh, in front of him. And a quad kill now for Art. All of them headshots. I'm so surprised that Fury got those... Like, that, that's... The logic of it doesn't seem doesn't seem to make sense in my brain. Where it's you kill two rotators coming over from the B bomb site, and then you then you still go attack the A bomb site. Yeah, I know what you mean. Like it worked, fair play. Art's got four kills. He hasn't even been touched. He hasn't lost a point of health. So I mean, I'm not really criticizing the result. Economic damage, potentially win, but oh wow, there we go. Good night. Adren taken out. Art kind of looked like he was messing that up a bit. He just continues the spray and takes down Jame and makes it out before Kicker can actually get him. That is a, such a lot of success behind just one AK-47. And again, it's Art. I like this play from Sanji, though. He's going to gather some... Oh, he can hear these footsteps. Now, does he want to be aggressive and trying to backstab this? case? Serato had his eyes on it. Now he hears the third player running, and surely this will be the signal. As soon as he knows Henny has turned the corner, he's going to make his play... And that might be the saving grace. Oh, my God. Art surely... Oh, he's going to know now. That's the that's the bomb down, but Art is going to take care of this. A triple kill on the round from this one AK-47. And now you surely have to know the beat bomb set is clear. And if Vinny can actually... Especially with a low health, is that kicker jumped out of the window pretty silently. He got away with it without anyone spotting or realizing it. They didn't even have the health to really shoulder peek for information. As all five players are here. Maybe not. Maybe Art can just kill everything one more time. He's certainly doing his very best at the moment. A uh, very good lineup for Buster, and it doesn't even matter at that. The follow-up, and oh, it's in the bomb site. He pre-fired it, and it's not there. Now coming out of Palace, but all of Avangar is already staring in this direction. So again, Furia finds a way to make this round dangerous. And again, they find the two opening kills, and then it just collapses from there in a five-on-three. Point. They put it in Vinny's hands. Oh, it's yeah. gone. That sucks. <laughs> it's gone. And kicker, it's about to have a field day. There we go. Avangar, they're stabilizing. It's a little bit late, but they are they are doing it down the stretch. It feels very late. This is three in a row now for them. Art here does not have the armor. That was really only Vinny. Trying to make it quiet coming down off this ledge, which is usually a good idea. Maybe if he could catch... Jame and then steal the AWP away. That would be annoying. They actually don't have the money to rebuy it. So <laughs> so if you could make sure they never get this back. In fact, if you could run to the edge of the map and just throw it over, that would be cool. Nice attempt at a wall bang, but they're going to get the AWP back. And then we're going to go into the 15th round. Yeah, I think it was Tizian. That's, that's, that your memory is much better than mine. I don't know how. I usually don't remember anything. Yeah. Vinny, ooh, the Molotov hurts, though. No, the immediate smoke, that's not bad, but Vinny has to go show himself. He yeah, has to make sure he either gets kills or goes down and dies. Yeah, this is just all a trick. They're trying to sell the idea that Vinny is the only guy in the corner. Oh, my God, this is brilliant. He's doing a fantastic job <laughs> of selling. It doesn't even matter. He doesn't need to sell anything. That is fantastic. This jump is just very, very shallow. Kickert is oh right on top, and I, he should be dead already. Kickert will take him down. Okay, Serato at least a return, but now he's being flanked as well, and he goes down to Buster. So, yeah, I don't, I don't know. I've seen, not seen many people go for that jump that Henny just did, and so I, I can't tell you whether or not it normally works. That's amazing for Buster, but I think even if not, that they are going to win that round no matter what. Quad kill though. So this is what I just mentioned the last round. You you can't give terrorist teams that much space to just march up to the eight bombs. <laughs> you have to you have to have some kind of position, some kind of intel of what's coming. And, and this has been both halves now, where where the defenses are just sitting so deep into the bomb site very early in the rounds. I'm just. It's also if you're going to be playing that far forward on B, then the logic is right. You're, you're going to need to be able to rotate back to the A bomb side, so you need early information that something is even happening on that side. And yeah. I, 
maybe some. Well, yeah, it's everything we've said that that you know we're sort of we've been lacking. Dual setups, aggressive plays to know what's coming. It's all all shaping up nicely at this point in time. Fifty seconds on the clock, and all they need is a good round here. Still a lot of money, obviously, on the avant-garde side, but that'll that'll bring them to fifteen. And we all know that's a bit of a difference. Henny ex expecting that if anyone comes through, they're going to crouch into that fight. So he's he's so ready for it. I wonder if Avangar is going to be aware this is a possibility. Nope, they're not at all. I mean, they haven't seen this throughout the half. They've probably forgotten it's even a possibility. All through oh. the smoke, that's the bomb as well. They didn't know how to handle the situation. 20 and seconds. Henny's going to get Furia onto 15. If you're Avangar, actually you have the money. It doesn't really matter. You might as well go for it. Get some kills. Try and take something away. That's a great shot from Jame. The last two players go down. Any weapon they could have taken away would have been great. That's a huge round from Henny. Nice shots, really quick reaction in that one. 15 to 13. Just about going to manage it. It's on to Emmy. Player turned coach turned player and Madden standing in. It's a beautiful headshot. It's all on PHR here. One on two. He's got the first. He hits the headshot. It is one on one. Oh my goodness. Emmy hiding behind the E-box waiting for his time to strike that bomb ticking away. PHR without a defuse kit as well. He's got to get on this sooner rather than later. Taps it the first time. Emmy not buying. Just starts to jiggle E-box. Gets the information. He knows it's not being defused. Baiting him in for the close contact play with the clock. The headshot though from PHR. He's got the time as well. Oh my goodness, this is going to be so close. I have no idea if PHR has got this defuse, but if he has, that is absolutely huge. It's going to be tight. The time just running out on him, I think, and indeed crazy by the skin on their teeth, taking that pistol round and fame to hit. For so little time, he will just bail out, makes his way towards Old Bomb to try and support as the IV control is established, and PHR looking completely the wrong way. That's a free frag. Somehow, me who gets one before he's taken down, but it's four on two again. Veggie and Snacks trying to recover the impossible. A lovely initial shot, but that gives away Veggie's position, and it's on to Snacks towards Old Bomb to really protect him. Here. He's going to find another as Emmy just peeking in with no real reason to, brings it back into the two on two, Madden out in the open, and somehow, VP find themselves the four on two they will be going into the half with a narrow disc have favored the a bomb site so it's a nice read early on by crazy and indeed it looks like the b bomb site is their final resting place let me able to find the one for one trade as snacks takes down emmy and what can vp make happen here they've got three players in towards ivy it's just otten alone on the awp to really cover that angle so there's plenty of presence plenty of opportunity otten grabs a freebie though drops the molotov deep and that will just keep VP completely out of this situation for a while longer. He drops the flashbang to enable his teammates in. And backlane's taken. But Otten just disrespecting the smoke finds Mihu. And it's on to Snatchy and PHR. Make that just Snatchy as Otten gets his third of the round. What can the VP man do here except try and rescue an impossible situation? The ship is sinking. He can't even find the frag onto Otten. He's in towards Old Bomb. He's absolutely pinned in. Otten just playing with his food before he eats it here. He has the support on the bomb site. And there we go. Otten will take him down. It took him a few shots, but he makes it happen. Kit, no utility to speak of. Just looking to get any kills they can. Nice work from Tarek. He's got another one there. Potentially, Kadian's low as well. Ethan, if he can isolate this play on this side, there is a chance now. Low HP on the scout. He's done enough there. Unbelievable. There's a kid there as well, oh, Sam. Oh, he's he actually pulled it off. That's insane. Wow, there was no chance. I don't want to no make hype chance. until I actually see the <laughs> There was no <laughs> chance. They were all low. I mean, if you want to go back, 2020 oh. hindsight, but that is a... Either way, nope. round four coming through. Cadian, AWP in hand. S-Tag was the main orbit squad for a while, but now more of a support rifle roll. We'll have the Krieg. And this could be aggression. I like this from EG. They know they're up against it still. They need to... Chain things up. Don't let them execute fully on top of them. Ethan, he's got control of second middle, but this is a difficult challenge here. If he controls that spray, he's an absolute god. How has he pulled that one off? Starving from the underpass. Brings him one pick back, but just the one. Here they know exactly the finish. Smoke spawn, coffins, Molotov towards Emo, and maybe new boxes. Probably one or the other. Difficult to pull off both. Oh, they got the smokes in line now. Molly's as well. Gonna get on that. This is a full execute straight onto the B site, and it's about to get nasty. Who's back here? Steven, he's got an M4 at least. Needs to win this fight and he loses it. But Kadian through the smoke trade. Kadian and Snappy Ooh. going to work. EG just ran into the blender. Three Eight versus seconds. two. And Kadian knows it, but don't throw it away. You've got the man advantage, Kadian. No oh. need to be the hero charging through the smoke. Oh, he's done it. He's given it up and now giving them a rifle as well. It's going to be down to just Cirque. He's going to close things out here. No problem at all. That is absolutely massive. You can see what it means to EG. That's their force by work. With them so far this tournament. Let's get it. And Stavin 
Starts it off strong yet again, even taking a little bit of fire damage just to guarantee that shot. Big nade and big volley. There's the shot. Duck hunt and Kadian hits it. Man advantage for Heroic. Kadian holding the site solo. The rest of Evil Genius is gathering up. This is about to get hot here for Kadian. And they're worried about the flank right now. Bottom banana. Bottom banana is getting pushed as well. Stabbing and Snappy are going to be coming through right here. And there's going to be a massive flank. Evil Genius is... Do they predict this? They may be able to get the read. Cirque is worried. But this is going to be massive. The timing could be everything here. If he comes around the corner and catches Cirque, if there's a, even just the slightest bit of slowdown, there it is. The bomb gets dropped on short. Game is up for Evil Geniuses. They got to get in here. They got to hit shots. Yeah, I think this might be it for Heroic. They've managed to weather the storm in round number 29. It's a great round as well. Really sets the scene. Oh my goodness, the money is broken for EG as well. Stan 2K, Ethan 2K, Breezy with 3,000. But it is the 30th round. Everything on the line here. Evil Genius's map point. Heroic fighting for overtime. Snappy holding close. Kadian, man, changing up the angle. Let's see. Does he get anything out of it? So close. There it is. Brings it back to a four on four. Yeah, he'll take that all day long. He can't believe his luck. Man, that was insane. There's the flank. Snappy with the hero play. Two kills for him. Crazy totally blind. Loses the duel. And it's looking like overtime, Henry. It absolutely is. Circle will have to do something remarkable at this point. He's got 65 points of help, but time to work with here. Negating the smokes, trying to find any points of access here. Locks off the two CTs towards library. But they're going to be charging him down. And Heroic have done enough. It's the full reset now. They'll remain on the CT side. 16,000. The rotation is coming through. They've got a read on this Evil Genius. Double smokes. Double smokes into CT. Miscommunication on the side of Heroic. Do they get the third down? Yes, they do. Okay, there it goes down onto Coils. Really wanting to make sure, but at some point you're going to have to go. Time to pull the trigger, boys. And there it is. Setup works. The stack here for Evil Genius. They line oh, up! Oh, what? How has that happened? It looked clumsy from Heroic. As you mentioned, miss time grenades and a stifled approach, but somehow they've got a four versus two now. This is for Matt Point as well. They win this round. They've got two lives to actually close this one out. It's Breezy now, working with Stanisaw. No saving in overtime. It's 16K. You've got to go for it. Smoking in towards the bomb side. Stan won't even check the flower bed here. He's absolutely not. Warup's done it. Great work from him. And we're going to find ourselves Matt Point for the underdogs here. Heroic eight. Shots through the smoke, hoping to get lucky. Stan dodges him. Got himself a kill, surely. Flashback is no good. He's got a couple of them lined up here. Good for one, but his teammate's is going to get a lot more. Tarek has got so many kills in front of him, and you can see him living up to expectations. Three for him. It's a kill in consolation here for s -Tag. He'll get another attack, but unfortunately for him, that's going to be it. Big round for EG to pick up there as Heroic will be forced down to an eco. Nothing can be said about round number four, that's for sure. Oh, and Cirque saves the M4 as well. What a snag at the end. Need to find that pick back, but Cirque's in such a prime position right now, patrolling the bathrooms. Full vision, he'll have the advantage of the shadows as well. If an orb comes in, you'll see the shadow right there. Bang. Well, Cirque will take that, no problem at all. Borup will be removed. We'll have a challenge that can't be traded, and a lackluster finish from Heroic here. After losing the opening pick, they've got no chance of converting this. Oh, it's such a tall order. No nades left either. They have to do it right. There's one. Raid. And Tarek. Triple kill for him. That was an excellent setup from Evil Geniuses. You're using Cirque as the bait at that point over at Long. Tarek just holding that line. You're going to know, oh, if we can cut off the up from getting back to the site. Let's go for something fast. Even just a fast B split would be significant here. You're up against double orbs. Um, they don't have that anymore, Ethan, with the Krieg. But still, uh, you're getting picked off one by one. The fact that Borob's going down at the start of each and every round is just not good enough. They need to maybe get out of this default stance. And we're going to see five players towards B. So it is going to be a change of pace. Nothing else is working. It is it a straight up rush? Yeah. Yes. All right, let's do it. This is what we wanted. Let's see if it works out. Stance. Smoke there to cancel. Full blaze from Breezy. Point blank. And he finds three. So tough. That incendiary doing tremendous damage. And then the flash is coming in as well. Stanislaw, quick rotate from him. He's just going to catch Snappy out. There's not a hope or a prayer for Snappy. He's gone. Yeah. And Caden with the MAC-10. Well... I got what I wanted, and that's the result. <laughs> and that's a tough one, because you got to think that these evil geniuses are also thinking that. 90 degrees, and now I really have to just hope that I'm looking the right way at the right time. <laughs> and oh, there it is. And that's why.
Exactly the moment he looks away is when he comes through, and now they'll fully commit towards B, but look who's waiting on the other side. It's Ethan. If he had the M4, they'd be in trouble, but he's still pretty handy with the AWP. Circle joined him as well. Both the orbs trying to hold the door here. They bring it back to a three versus three. Now a two on two. S-Tag and Snappy with time running out here. They need to get that bomb down. Tarek will arrive shortly, but now Ethan's still alive and kicking. It looks like he might have done enough here. Just needs to deny that plan if possible. One of them's going to have to take four seconds to get that bomb down. Ethan knows it. Can they deny anything? Oh, he gets it! F to the round. That's it. No time left. Excellent work there. EG got 12 to 3 on their CT side of their opponent's pick here. Of Snap might be able to hit the shot. Snappy's been doing a lot of jumping over there. Doesn't look like Snappy's going to take the risk right now, at least. Looks like a boost instead from Heroic. So Snappy checking, using Cadence from earlier, and oh, he's checking. There it is. Tries to transfer some damage onto the man who was doing the boosting, but that's not going to be the case. Perfect setup there. The flash from Tarek. And now Cadian holding close. See if he spots him coming up, this could get nice. This could get dicey. That would drop the bomb. There's Brazy. Instant revenge. Yeah, but it's all down to West Stack now. He's been delivering all day, but only good for one now. Advantage to EG. 40 seconds remain. Bora will have to go absolutely massive here. Can't do it. That is going to be map points, almost certainly now. Starvin wow. coming in from the fountain position. He's got a couple of bits of utility, a smoke, and a flash. Three kills to find, though. All my words here, uh, I'll do what I possibly can. It's going to be heroic on that difficult T side here. <laughs> and the flashbang is no good breezy. We'll just be finding that instant headshot. It'll be S tag to go down first and Cadian to follow. Breezy's on an absolute tear here. He's having a great time. Down into the lower halls we go and Breezy just already looking for more. Got control of warehouse now. He's going to be able to hold out and lock heroic down in the lower halls now as soon as they try and fight their way out. He's going to be looking for more headshots. He is down to 43 HP, so not the whole lot of work or a lot of health to work with. But his teammate Stanislaw is here to draw a little bit of attention to himself. And so there you go, another one. And that's three kills in the pistol round for Breezy. 2v4 now for Heroic. And, well, they've got a USP now. Problem is Breezy is one of the most dangerous players in the upper bomb site in the entirety of CSGO. Not many players can take him down. There's no flashes to fend him off now. They use both their efforts towards ramp, and that's an easy kill for him. Ethan and Breezy towards the upper bomb site. That's going to be difficult to contain. And now they're still fighting back, but so snappy. Estek finds some space as well. They're still going to take down the final boss. Two versus one now. 20 seconds remain. They know exactly where he is, and surely they've got the final frag, and there we go. And we'll be Heroic posting their first on the board. It was a little bit scrappy towards the end, but Snappy stood up and managed to get a couple of key frags there after losing the first pick as well. Good decision not to take the ramp room. Yeah, I'm really surprised by that. All of a sudden, the explosive kills yeah. coming in there from Heroic. Three de three kills in the span of a second. It looked like Evil Geniuses were going to get another lockdown going, but Heroic managed to find all the kills. Dirk Orp is fended off once again. That flashback is brutal for him. He should be able to find something here. It does tag Snappy, but right for a wall and in the leg would only do... Minimal damage, takes it to 67. That's much more like it, though. Borov with a lovely shot the AK-47. We'll get Stanislaw. So, he's the outside player. Everyone knows it. Circle will be with him, though, this time. That's a tough break. Split second after the shot goes into Breezy. Still a man advantage here for Heroic. They get this round. They're pretty much guaranteed the final one because there will be nothing left. 9-6 would be a great half of Heroic, but they still need to win this one, which could be problematic. Tarek has been an absolute monster in the lower bomb site as he hides in the shadows once again. It's up to Cirque to land the most important shot. He does it, and Ethan can backstab with the auto shotgun. You just love to see it. And there it is. They steal the round. It's an outside rush towards that main roof. Drop down, overwhelm a player, and then you catch everyone nades in their hand. Or Kadian misses a shot, which he's not going to. That's going to be in the bombs drop. It's going to be the round. He's starting to find some frags here now. Zero and 12, I think, at one point. But there's the third for him in this round. Make it the fourth. Looking for an ace. That'd be a nice consolation, considering he's had a slow run of it. Even after an ace, he had 10 frags. But he keeps him in that round. No problem at all. 15 to 8. Yeah, he has caught up. That's the usual finish for T-Sides here. So Vox is to get the early information. He's to say, right, get those nades ready towards connector. As soon as they start planting, Chris J, there he is, ready to deploy either when they're planting or committing down lower ramps. They're going to save those and make sure they get maximum damage out of them. That's the name of the game here. Ooh, I think Prolon just got spotted as well. So Frozen and Prolon in a, bit of a in a bit of a duel in the back. They have that info now. And Fnatic, Golden calling for a rotation. Golden calling to adapt here. They are not going to commit to the lower site. Instead, they are going to go out onto the main site here. Prolon, though, the flank working out perfectly. Once again, the young gun, but Rops! Makes the plays triple for him. Looking for the quad. He's going to get it. Now the ace. Can he pull it off? Come on, Rops. Haven't got an ace yet so far this tournament. Crims. 
just doing his thing. 1v2, perfectly capable. Long range gets Nidal dead. There it is, Rops with the ace. Beat All him to five. the pegs, Rops. <laughs> Excellent. What's name just happened here? I have no idea as the Glock somehow have done all the damage. Rops can find one here. He has a good chance of winning this round out as he gets the penultimate frag. It's up to Brolan now, sitting on the bomb side, but Rops has zero information as to where he could be. Now spots him. He's going to get this. Rops knows it. It's up to Brolan to be clever. Two young stars going at it now. Rops holding his nerve. Still got plenty of time here. He knows mistake will come through eventually, and there it is. Well held, and that's going to be his 21st frag. Excellent stuff. Well, look, oh, that's going to be the round, surely. JW, he's good in these scenarios, but he's got a lot of work to do now. AWP, two versus one. Yeah, 1v2 like this exactly. Now he's on the upper side, and there's no smoke. There's no nothing here to help Mouseports. Oh, Ooh. that's the shot you have to hit if you're JW. Now this is pretty much in the bag. Clutch play from JW. Double down a man so taking big. over the inside site. Crims. Sure, the timing can be brutal here. Voxy take his scope away from the Ivy position for a second of Golden Swings now. I dare say he's got him, but he's so fast. As I mentioned, he's able to recover in time and frozen. I think he wins around from this position alone. You just don't have time to sweep out the heaven position. He'll be able to come out eventually and not even deny the plan. That's interesting. Brona will fall back, but surely Frozen gets the kill here. Just about. It's a scrappy one, but doesn't take any damage. Yes, but man advantage for Mouse Sports. Still, they have information on one of them. Crims is going to catch Rops here in a moment. So it's a two on two, and they have info on one. So, and they know that Waxic is back alley as well. So this is still a situation that Fnatic should be winning now. They have all the info that they need. They're putting the pressure out. Flash. Perfect flash. It's really going to put the pressure on. Frozen is in a tight spot. And now he's got to get on this. And do they even have a kit? Frozen's got a kit at least. Waxic's going to be the one watching. Waxic hits the shot on Crims. This is a real, but if they get the kill, oh, Crims, oh, 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 so close. He's got it. He's okay. got it barely. Oh, that was insane. He knew as soon as that orb shot was missed towards Ivy, Glock out, try and make your way towards the bomb. Have you had everybody survived last round for Mouseport, so double up, highly likely. And so just go cascading out. Rops is a bit at range, though, but where's JW's position? Ah, okay, good job here from Rops. Yeah, great stuff. Yeah, he's out in this. He's getting like two or three kills. They have no idea that he's here. So there's one, there's the second, looking for the third, going to get it. Rops just clinical. What a thing of beauty. Lovely stuff. Let the man get an ace again. It had to be JW, though. <laughs> a chance there to get the bomb planted, but Rob's couldn't have played that better. Aware of the... The open when he takes the peak. Rob's just got by, just snuck by, and so it may not even work. Needed to see the first body there, but now Ooh. that JW finds it, he's going to be expecting Rob's from a different angle anyway. And now he knows JW... Oh, defused. Going for it, sticking it. He's done it. Oh, no, he, oh he, he got off it. Off. He Frozen didn't believe it. Off. He had it. It was one more second on it. That was enough. And JW just toying with him now. He knows he's got this one. See ya, Frozen. Once again. <laughs> oh, I like that. And Sobel. Roofy. Going to start the rampage. Takes care of XD Power on T Roof. Sobel. Going to continue to rampage. Takes care of Jerry and T Lobby. And they're flanked him from behind. And face crack. Sobel picks off the bomb and Alamaz. And face crack does nail off Daku, though. And now the rotate's coming in, and oh my god, Flit being caught with a grenade out. And Lunatic will pick off face crack at a 5-1 to pack there. Packed, dismantling the off. Sobel returning across at Heaven. Holding the heart angle, crit your face. Smoke's gonna go to him as well. Spots off face crack, he'll drop two. Spots off Flit, turning this into a 3v3, but face crack can't really defend A here. But they're going outside instead. They're here to smoke. Crit your face. We'll spot so we'll drop. Molotov going down at heaven. Crit your face before one. But Jerry's already on the site. And Lunatic going for a Hail Mary. Pack of the two man advantage now. Smoke's going down. Flit on the site. Picks off Goofy. Grabs a better. Picks off another. Picks off the Lunatic. Picks off another. And Daku. And he's going to have to reload the gun. But can't convert the USP now. He's turned into a 2v2 at least. Sobel coming through locker room. Now X mate and Dennis. So it's a basically a 2v3 at the moment, but they've got gets the wrong side. They've actually gone to B side. Nork holding short. Speed boost. Jumps them over. Good speed boost, by the way. Molotov at short, and they can definitely know it's gonna be A side push. Dennis running frantically through long doors. Emo. Not holding long, actually. He might be picked off by Dennis if he's not careful. I'll speak off Pleasant. Molotov gonna come around. Dennis will be picked off too by Emo. Emo, perfect angles. And Emo will get the third as well. I'm not sure why I wouldn't switch to Emo then. That's gonna be a timeout from Game of Legion here. As he goes through spawn, he'll pick up that op for sure. Or a weapon for sure, potentially, as they threw it over. He checks it. Nork hiding. Spotted. 
Well, he'll drop to engine there. Dennis doesn't get any weapon. And Dennis will be denied by Paz. Pleasant goes for the jumping scout. Engine will go down. And... Ooh. Orb shot. Wow. Pleasant. Wow. Emo at long doors will take care of Rusty. He only had one HP anyway. And for picks ramp. Good for one. And Pleasant being cleaned up here. But good for two. Now they're looking for Emo. Smoke. Not sure where he is. Emo going to have to get a gun here. Emo gets a HP grenade on Pleasant. And they're going to have to find him at the moment. The MAC-10 will be huge. Dennis. Oh, no. Dennis. Oh, my God. Emo has finally done it. He's finally clutched one. After losing 71 V1s. Not with minimal damage. The smokes will go down. The flashbang will go down as well. Can they recover that weapon? They spot one at doors. The flashbangs will go up as they try to peek out. But they're already at the door already. But Bayaz, strong with the SG. Be able to stop this immediately with Paz. And that'll be 15-13. And Team Spirit all the way up short. Whoa. Cracking opening. Three CTs here ready to fight for their lives though. Good placement on that molly to force off anyone from the headshot position. But the T's don't commit. They've got so much utility to re-execute. They're going to look for another pick. They're going to get it. Ho, ho, ho. The boost. Player on high on the site doesn't realize they boosted next to him. That's a... Uh... Nice little bit of trickery up from Spirit, and Rusty just does not react in time, does not find it. So now Gamer Legion very much on the back foot. They've still got the AWP, which may just be enough to deliver some damage as the site hit comes through, but with still a minute to play with, Spirit can kind of just sit back and let Gamer Legion stew a little bit. Let the sweat start to form on their Ooh. foreheads, and now Magix finds the timing, puts the doubt in their mind, and they just can't get anything. Magix, the leading players in this round, might just get the full ace to from that CT side pistol. So they are going to creep up along the flower pots. And now they're coming in. Hampus has found the first. That's a massive opener with a P250. They gave it to him for a reason. He's making it work, but some die young, just so much better. Three quick kills and now not all in his lonesome. It'll be Chopper to dispatch him. So Spirit looked like the pressure might be on there for limitations for a CT side. Now the take's going to be on 25 seconds by the time they finally come through and it's a trap. Admiral Akbar is on the scene and it's a massacre. Nobody really getting away with this. Dennis trying to do his best, but he's quick to follow. And it's just gonna be not enough. Chopper and Mira have to come back through. They do have a kit and a single smoke to cover this off. But they have to deal with Dennis on site itself first. Chopper rounding will do exactly that. Just the 1v1 now. Turns it into that 1v1 as well. Hips has no idea where Chopper is, and Chopper is in the perfect position. So much time to get that defuse perfectly played, and now we're at the 14 14 mark. That is ridiculous, couldn't be closer. I, I reckon we're gonna see overtime. I'm doing the Henry G, it feels it's overtime. like it was all fine and dandy in terms of their performance. Pretty impressive, some would say, to, to qualify through the EU. And oh, Dodo just peeks out wide, has no care in the world. Spots out Zix, takes the first, takes the second, that's bomb. Okay. Doto, <laughs> he's just he's just doing yeah. it all himself. He's like, you know what? No need. Have a perfect start. Five man, clean pistol round to begin. Pretty much best start you could hope for, I guess. Wink, wink. The smoke's giving them enough opportunity to do so. Ooh, and slowy. That was a really vital kill, especially with Rainwaker still being alive at this point. Although, yeah. good response by Denislav. Have to be careful. Denislav finds a second. And Zore, last man alive. Beautiful tap. But will he survive? That's the question. Oh. Isolates oh. into a one on one. This is doable. I uh, hear Raft as well, but there's the challenge. Oh. Raft will lose it still. The, gl the Galil will pull it away. And Zore comes alive in the final breaths of uh, his team effectively yeah. at least saves it at least pulls them off the the line for a second holds them on to grab a secondary chance out of this this abysmal first map or well 